Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we will analyze a rectangular column for buckling analysis. This is an example of multi-physics being used in Answers Workbench Analysis, wherein you are going to use two different modules in this analysis. The first one being static structural. So we will double click on it. Next, I'll go to geometry, right click, new design modeler geometry. I'll choose the units as millimeter. I'll go to X, Y, look at. Since we are using a plain rectangular column, I am going to simply use a rectangle. I will give it some dimensions. Say it is 20 by 20. Next, I will extrude it by say 150 mm. You can see the column is quite long. Generate. So this completes my simple geometry. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to mesh, I'll choose the sizing as fine and update. Now here you can see for the solid, the material is structural steel. If you want, you can change the material and take it to concrete. So I'll go for import material. Okay. This has taken me to engineering data. Here you can search in general materials that is concrete. I'll bookmark it. I'll go back to project and update project. I'll go back to geometry and choose solid. I'll change it to concrete. Next, I'll go to static structural and I'm going to insert fixed support, say on this end and on the top end, I'm going to insert pressure. Say the pressure is 50 megapascal. I'll go to solution, insert deformation total. I want to see the stress equivalent one mysis. I'll solve it. Now this analysis ends here as I get the total deformation and the equivalent stress over this body. Now as I told you at the start, we are going to make use of multi-physics. So here comes into picture eigenvalue bucklet which you can choose from here, drag it and drop it till the solution. You are going to add all of these parts and you are going to transfer the data into eigenvalue buckling. Now I will go to setup of eigenvalue buckling and double click on it. Here you can see the geometry has come from the static structure analysis, mesh, all these analysis settings that I have given, they are also present. The solution which I had taken out from the static structural is also here. Now I will go to eigenvalue buckling analysis settings and this maximum mode I will set it to 3. Next I will go to solution and I am going to insert deformation total. Here you can see the mode number is 1. Since I have set the mode number in analysis settings as 3, 
I can insert two more modes. So I'll change this to mode two. And if I want, I can also see the third mode. So I'll change this to three. Now I'll go to solution and solve. Let's see the results. You can see here the deformation. For the first mode, we will see this is the type of deformation that comes on the body because of a pressure from the top end. Now let's see for the second deformation. You can see here it moves this way. The first one was moving perpendicular to the second one. And the third one will show deformation like this. So these are the three modes that we have obtained. If you want, you can change this analysis settings to say up to six modes. And here I will insert deformation total. Next is my fourth mode. And also I can insert mode five. And the mode six. Solve. So when I go to the fourth one, I can see this is the fourth deformation. This is the fifth one. And this becomes the sixth mode. Of deformation for this body. So generally for linear buckling analysis we prefer only three because if you see here what happens is this frequency or the load multiplier that you see is actually repeating. So what you need to do is maximum three analysis is sufficient for linear buckling analysis. Now here if you change negative load multiplier if you say no and you solve this, you can see here the negative load multipliers have disappeared which was minus 4.3 in the previous case. So now if you check the results, this is going to be a positive value. You can check the second one, the value is the same. I will go for the third one. And this is the fifth one. Fifth and sixth again value is same. So in general if you have three of them it is sufficient. It's not required to go up to number six. So this is how you go for linear buckling analysis for a plain rectangular column. I hope you have understood the procedure for solving this type of a problem. If you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.